Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea! Since last time, I passed up to five promotion exams for everyone. Just move the emblems around from one character to the next and as you're passing the exams, and you should be able to pass them as long as you got the feather token there. So, let's face our final challenge in Chapter 5. Hmm. You don't know when to give up, do you, Prince? I beat your but slaves. But luck ends here. To put it nicely. Hi there, little boy. I thought you overcame that problem, Maharl. That's not all. Take this. A ray of hope. What kind of ray? Don't answer that, viewers. A pure heart. <laughs> Can you withstand an attack against both of your vulnerabilities? Nuts. I mean, my, my nuts aren't my vulnerability. Uh, th that's not. Carl, hang in there. <laughs> that's not what I meant, viewers. I, I wasn't even thinking about that when Whoa, I said that. Hold it right there. Oh no. Not again. When a lovely flower sheds a tear, I am there to wipe its sadness away. My flower shall bloom bearing love. Oh, they no. call me the Dark Adonis. What are you doing here, mid-boss? Who are you? What is your name? He just said it. As I said, I am the Dark Adonis. I don't care who you are. Interfere, and you shall regret it. My, you are the one who asked moi for my name. In any case, I am not here to see you. Oh. Oh, right. He wants revenge. Now then, how is everyone doing? You seem to be having some difficulty. I can't take on all three of them at once. What are you here for? Oh, how can you be so discourteous to moi? You seem to be working your way into quite a predicament. As your rival, I felt it was my obligation to warn you. Uh, rivals warn don't me? help each other. Last time I checked. Laharo, do not be fooled by appearances. Relying on sight and sound will only lead to delusion. Open your mind's eye. Once you do, you will no longer be deceived by mere facades. Why did you get so serious My all of a sudden? I... Now is the time to set your mind free. Awaken to your power. Uh, thanks for the um, encouragement, Mr. but uh. That was a wonderful speech and all, but I think you may have set the bar a bit too high for Laharl. Oh, in that case, just close your eyes and plug your ears. Ah, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I have no weaknesses. The tides have turned, Madeiras. Mm. Your large-breasted beauties are no match for me! Hey, Edna, what are you waiting for? Kill Laharl! Uh, she's not a large-breasted beauty. I'll erase your memory for good. Well, she seems to be doing pretty good without her memory. Go ahead, why don't you? What? Two years ago, when the king died, I followed your orders and poisoned the prince. You didn't do a very so good job. So you would give me back my memories. What? You tried to poison me? Then that long nap was all because of... Your ears are plugged, yet you still manage to hear that one line? <laughs> That's right. It was because of the poison. But I hated myself for working under Medeiros. I didn't want to go on living like that. So you kept I doing it for two years anyway. To escape from under his thumb. Or that. Then why have you been following my orders until now? <laughs> you mean it's not clear to you? I was waiting for just Oops. the right moment Sorry. to get my revenge on the bastard who ruined my life. From now on, I'll lead my life any way I choose. And no one's gonna stop me. How dare you turn against me, you double-crossing backstabber! Oh, you started it. Oh, the whining of a sore loser. It's music to my ears. Sweet music to my ears. Damn it! Prinnies, make mincemeat out of her! The Prinnies? Really? Dude! <laughs> P 
Brinnies? You don't get it, do you? I just told you that I've been waiting for this moment. I bought out the Prinnies you hired to watch over me a long time ago. Comprende? <laughs> You're just a stupid fool who fell for my trap. And the prince was my bait. You stupid fool! Huh, it just doesn't have the same ring as to bait? it. You're one ruthless girl. Oh, Prince, don't flatter me so much. It's not like Flan or Midboss were part of the plan. Hmm, women are scary. <laughs> uh, you can just stay on the sidelines there, Midboss, while I take care on, of Medeiros. You're gonna pee in your pants every time you hear my name. You ready? Is that okay, Midboss? We'll just take on Medeiros then. All right, it's boss time against. Madaris himself. So, first things first, uh, we want to split up our party into three groups. There's some enemies to the left, some to the right, some straight ahead of us. So, I'm going to take care of that, and I'll be a little quiet so you guys can hear the kick-ass music. First things first. Yeah, we get, get everyone spread out over there. And I'm gonna send Flan up the middle there. He must have really good resistance. But yeah, I'm sending Flan up the middle there because all the enemies are gonna cut well, not all of them. A lot of the enemies are gonna battle back there. So yeah, this is one of the reasons why I turned off the spell animations for the last episode, because yeah, these attacks take a while. So but I figured I'd at least show it to you once, so... Let's just keep on going all out there. Now, this song that I'm actually playing here, uh, I actually had to manually insert that into the video here. This does not play in the PSP version of the game. Uh, my understanding is that there's some sort of copyright issue or something or other going on, and uh, they couldn't... It was in the original PlayStation 2 version, but they had to take it out of the PSP version for some reason. I don't know why. But. So I decided to turn off the regular music that plays here and insert the original music since a few people requested that of me. So sure, I'm happy to oblige. Now when you're splitting up your party members here, you want to... Uh, have like a ranged character in all three groups. In this case, I have Flan. Uh, well, she kind of sort of has range, or my Bushi, or Bushido, as you might call it. Let's see, you can go over there. And yeah, and then I got my uh, Ranger over here as my ranged character. So you can't shoot him, so. I'll just... I just hope I, uh... Kill him first. That, that's what I meant to do. Hmm. Maybe you can, uh, go over there. The two guys to worry about in this battle, really, are... Obviously, Medeiros himself. And his golem in the back there. So, yeah, we want to watch out for those guys. I'm going to send the Harl up here. Let's take out his... Or Medeiros' minions first, before actually worrying about uh, himself. I'm surprised Medeiros isn't really scripted to go after Etna. You would think he would want revenge after double-crossing him like that. Or is that triple-crossing? However the expression goes. Uh, now I don't have him blocked there. You go after uh, Flan. Maybe, uh, yeah, a good fire spell ought to get the job done. Well, not finish him off, but... Okay, okay, that's enough. Uh, why don't you back off there, and I'm going to send in my Bushido. I'm just going to call her Bushido. 
because well, that's probably what Bushi is an abbreviation for. It's probably not a description of her attributes, I would think. Not that kind of Bushi, you perverts. Alright, go Lahara. Can I get one kill for my, uh, Bushido? I don't want her to kill Madeira. I want that not to do that for poetic justice. Well, let's see. You could probably kill her. Maybe. Ha! There we go. Alright, Etna. Finish him! Oh, I should have used Prinny Raid. Just for the irony. But, oh well. Yeah! Got him! Revenge is mine! <laughs> Please spare my life, I beg you. What should I do? Forgive Kill me, oh Master Etna. Your strength, beauty, and intelligence are unsurpassed in all the netherworld. Well, that is true. Well, killing a loser like you would only dirty my hands, so I'll forgive you. You know what I want. Right? Booty! I mean, yes. uh... I will return Masala Harald's candid photos immediately, <laughs> as well as your memory. I'll return everything. I just love how over-the-top his voice actor is. He must be having such a great, good time with it. Yeah, now we have more party members with Madeiras. Ooh, well that settles that, doesn't it, Prince? No, it doesn't. Yeah, you, you... poisoned me in my sleep. You used me as bait for your revenge. What kind of vassal are you? Yeah, you tried to kill me. But, 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 Laharl! But! But I don't mind that side of you. Hmm? A true demon is always full of ambition and aims for the top. As king, I'll need a right-hand demon like you under my command. Well, she kind of already is, but, yeah. Prince! Listen up! I'm gonna work you into the ground. You better be prepared for it. Uh-uh. You better be prepared. How hard could it possibly be? I'll be watching your every move. If you don't prove yourself worthy of the throne, an accident may happen. <laughs> <laughs> huh. You can take my place if that happens. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I will. That's strange. Laharl and Etna reconciled, despite all that's happened. I like how when we were fighting Madeiras, the I music they originally it, chose I guess demons have their own way of expressing love. was punk rock. Surprised. You fought a vampire for control of the entire nether world of demons. Never experienced anything like this before in Celestia. And we have punk rock music. Well, I suppose rock and roll is the music of the devil. So, all right. If you lose to Madeiras after getting a bunch of ally Everyone's, kills, everyone, are you not forgetting someone? <laughs> uh, you can get another ending. From him, but uh, well, I'm gonna save that for a bonus episode later on down the line. So, not today. Hi, everybody! I'm Etna! I'm a first grader at Netherworld Elementary! Not again. You look and <laughs> act like a first grader, that's for sure. That is true. Um, my dream is to become a witch so I can get a cute boyfriend! Boyfriend? That's dumb. Lovely sexy! Hey, no touching! Boys of the world, be my loyal slaves! Well, we already I are. touch you! <laughs> on Evolutionary Magical Girl Etna, Episode 6! Curse you, Flan! Get ready to be spellbound! Aren't you embarrassed to say something like that? Not at all! All right, we've taken out mid-boss, hog-miser, Madeiras, how many more people could possibly be interested in the throne of the netherworld? Find out next time on Chapter 6 of Let's Play Disgaea! 
This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.